this river to your right, instead of going down to the to left, if you follow this river to the right, and you stay on this river, which, have you noticed something about this river right now? No, never mind. I was going to say there's no boats, but there's boats right there. You, know, you can only go so far down that river. Because not that far away from there is the uh, Niagara Falls. So, there is a lot of boats over here. Pretty cool. Imagine magnet fishing in that uh, water right there where all those boats are. You imagine you'll find a lot of cool things in there. some kind 
kind of a um, military ship over here as a museum. Not too sure which ship it is, but there's a museum uh, over here. And a war museum, a warship somewhere over here. Not too sure. And I'm not too sure which one it is. I did see it one time from the highway, but I think they built a building uh, in front of it. Garbage to you guys and you do the 
they married in the States. I'm going to say you guys, but you're the States. And they bring their garbage to Canada. So the United States brings their garbage. Why? It's all money thing. It's all money. ship a lot of our stuff to the states and they ship a lot of stuff to us. Now, I was with my father one year, yeah, a couple of times, in the truck, and I remember picking up a load of potatoes, growing from somewhere else, don't know where, can't remember, but I take it to Ohio, no, Iowa, Idaho, Idaho, that's what it was, Idaho, and they took them out of their bags and stuck them into Idaho potatoes, their bags, and claimed it was uh, grown in Idaho, and it wasn't. So, I don't know, it's just, I don't even know how, why I'm getting into this or how I'm getting into this conversation. It's something that most people don't know. But try being a truck driver and doing this, you know. Because you're the one that's hauling it from point A to point B, right? Like, for instance, these flowers that I have. Flowers that I have were grown in Canada and I'm taking it to Cleveland. Do you not really think that maybe in Cleveland or somewhere in the States they can grow their own flowers? Maybe it's a certain kind of flower that Americans that the United States can't grow. I don't know. Maybe it's just a the demand on flowers and, uh, and they just can't find it anywhere else or it's probably the, the cheaper and, uh, well I know one thing the uh, American money is worth a lot more than the Canadian money and that doesn't make any sense you know at one point the Canadian money it was even in my lifetime. At one point, the Canadian money was worth more money than the United States money. And for some odd reason, someone decided that they were going to flip it back around the other way. And now I, I have, I, I can kind of figure out what it could be. It's probably because the United States Americans weren't shopping in Canada as much as they they used to. And that's probably, that's just my guess. It could be something else, but that's just my guess. And I think it's a pretty good guess. the right noodles, we just didn't have any spaghetti noodles, so 
the salt in the pot and then putting the noodles in isn't working because the noodles, I think we overcooked them in the noodles is what I think we did. Because they stuck together. Oh, so here I am rambling on. Buffalo is behind us. We are currently on the Interstate 90, which is a toll road. So we went from the 190 to the 90. And we're working our way down to, uh, well, we gotta go to, we have to be somewhere around Cleveland, Ohio. Before 5 o'clock today. It is 1.30 in the afternoon.
little bit better now that we all have dash cams. Because back in the day when there was no dash cams, people would go, okay, well, I don't have the greatest looking vehicle. Well, let's get this vehicle paid for or maybe get a new vehicle. Let's jump out in front of a transport truck, slam on our brakes, and then claim it's their fault because they're falling too close. Or they ran into the back of you. Whatever. Um, so they did a lot of that. But now that we have dash cams, and everybody must have seen them by now, videos on YouTube of, uh, of drivers, road raging, four wheelers, big trucks, road raging, slam on their brakes, or enforcing these big trucks to pull it over or stop in the middle of the road. Thinking about doing that, 
out Car Wars. If you know what Car Wars is, great. We have new stuff on there. And if you don't know what Car Wars is, check it out. It's all mud box and things. Big pickup trucks, big engines, big tires going through, racing through mud. Seeing what they can do, seeing how far they can go. Check it out. I think you're going to like it. And like and subscribe to that too. You won't regret it. But, anyways. If I don't stop, then I'm going to ramble on and on and on. So, with that, have yourself a fantastic day, evening, day, or night, whatever, morning. Drive safe, be safe, and catch you in the next one. Bye for now.